Hey everyone, this is uh, Siddharth Kumar uh, from Review Magic and uh, today we have a very exciting movie for you which I'm going to be talking about my comments and feedback and this is a movie that goes by the name of And Breathe Normally. It's an Icelandic movie available on Netflix and um, in the last uh, few days or so I've been interested to see some movie you know from that particular region i don't know why and uh, you know when i went on netflix and i typed in iceland this movie came up it's it's apparently it is a uh, hidden gem that netflix mentioned so this is a movie that caught my attention and i heard and i read the plot about it which is about a struggling single mother who is a cop and also a, also a lady from uh from uh you know the, the the region of france and she's trying to uh, you know come to canada via iceland and how the lives of both the single mother cop as well as this person in uh, are intertwined together is what the story is all about so the movie has been directed by isol Uga Dofir I hope I pronounced the name correctly and uh, it's starring Christine Harold Sauter who is the single mother cop that I mentioned and Beatrice such so the uh, African national uh, who is coming via France to Iceland and now wants to go to Canada so here's the story you know ultimately uh, you know when you start watching the movie you know it it starts with the scene where this is a mom with um, a son and she's buying groceries at um, you know an icelandic grocery store and she is short of money she's trying to use her credit card and the credit card declines and uh, you know you 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 immediately get to know uh, you know what's coming up next so the director doesn't waste too long it's a movie that comes straight to the point that this is a mother that's struggling she has a run down um, you know car and a, you know a young son who goes to school and she's trying to get a job uh, she might be evicted soon because she doesn't have the rent to pay fortunately for her she does get a call from the uh, airport authority where they are Uh, hiring people they are training them to wet all the passengers that are leaving the country they want to check if it's it's not a fake passport uh, it's a legit case so that's what the role is of the single mother so she has her own challenges uh, she uh, has no partner and she's just trying to make sure that you know how to make ends meet she eventually has to leave her home and uh, spend nights in a uh, frigid cold inside her car with her son so i think that uh, really is very uh, you know uh, you know i would say it is um, it's sad it is something that you know you uh, would you know hope that doesn't happen to anyone that someone who uh, you know can reasonably get a decent job should not stay with their son in frigid cold outside so that is that's the one aspect of the story that's happening the other aspect is that uh the person uh, the actress babe tidasa jo so she is living in iceland and she has a passport uh, with her as she comes to the immigration counter she is sitting next to an experienced uh, person and you know when they scan her passport again you know it doesn't blink you know uh, yellow for some reason so she becomes a suspect and then they uh, take her back into the immigration uh, office where she's being grilled as to you know if this is a fake passport or not she has a french passport but you know it it seems like it's been uh, it's a fake passport so her daughter and her sister this person who's been detained you know they are able to uh, you know get through the immigration and they board their flights to canada so now, now this person babe peter sergio she is now put into a uh, camp of detainees who, who uh, can either be deported they can request for asylum and they they just have to wait for you know what the government of iceland thinks so she's pretty stressed and then she's very stressed out as she's seen people in the middle of night that are kicked out of iceland and they're sent back to their home country which a lot of people whether they're from syria or they're from the, the country that beatita originally comes uh, she doesn't want to go so i think the uh, overall the movie really does come to the point uh, i i really love the scenic of iceland and not because you know i'm saying that has anything to do with the movie but 
you know, the, the cinematography is such that, you know, it focuses on, you know, these remote buildings where uh, Kristen lives and these old buildings, uh, you know, what they show is the loneliness. Uh, you know, it's so, uh, you know, it's a no man's land. Uh, you know, Iceland doesn't have more than 30,000 population. So the, the, the focus, you know, on, you know, a car, on a building, it just tells you how secluded this place is, how life can be so hard, challenging, rough. And that is exactly what the director has shown in the life of Kristen. Now, uh, you know, as Bebti does, she gets out of the uh, refugee camp just to go on a stroll. She ends up finding Kristen and her son in the car. And, uh, you know, that's where their lives meet with each other. Uh, you know, Kristen has no place to go. She's homeless now. So she takes some uh, time. She stays, starts staying with Bebti does apartment where all these um, detainees are. And they become friends. I mean, Bebti is taking help of, uh, he is helping her son go to school. She's, she's kind of doing babysitting. And um, uh, and then both become close friends. Now, Babe Tira is trying to now leave the country to illegal means, go sitting in a shipping container in the middle of night and going on a ship. But it's a very risky move, which we all would agree. And uh, she has the money. She pays, uh, you know, a guy, a, a broker. But, um, you know, Kristen gets to know about all of this. And, you know, it, it's kind of the bonding that gels between them that she says, don't go, this is a risky move. And ultimately, Kristen, what she does is that she uh, gets the passport of uh, Babe Tita from the files. And, you know, on the day when she's alone uh, sitting in the immigration counter, you know, she tells, uh, you know, Babe Tita, uh, if that day she boards a flight to Canada. And I just want to tell you this, that, you know, by that time, her application has been denied. So most likely she is on the verge of getting deported. But before she gets deported, she gets the passport. And on that day, when she's traveling, Kristen, uh, you know, lets her go. She's the only one in the immigration immigration counter. So I think what the director has tried to show here is a message where sometimes it's humanity that uh, has a bigger role to play than than law and order. And it is a tough uh, movie. It is a very challenging decision that Kristen had to uh, play because you know she may eventually get caught. Someone who has caught, has stolen the password and let go of someone. So. But I think that, uh, you know, these are instances where I felt that um, which really catches your attention You know how this slow, you know, movie, which has got a lot of awards, by the way, uh, you know, it kind of flows. You kind of relate to the whole story. It's something that uh, happens in all of our lives is that we sometimes a cop stops you, but because they, uh, they, they hear you, your story, they let you go. They don't give you a ticket and a lot of other stories. So this is something that I felt really caught my attention. I was glued to the seat and it is slow, but it, the Iceland beauty, uh, the, the the acting by both Kristen and Bebida her, and her son, uh, the, the supporting actors, the way the movie flows till the end where she's able to board a flight to Canada. I think it, it is worth watching. Uh, watch it for a family. And guys, if you have any comments, uh, feel free to add it today. This is Siddharth Kumar uh, signing off from Review Magic. Do uh, watch and breathe normally. I recommend it. You will not regret it. Thank you. Take care.